Hi, my name is Damon, I am a game designer, and I want to ask a very important question. What if the Pokemon franchise was rebooted? Not a remaster where the game is the same but given an updated visual look for the most recent consoles. Not a remake where everything was built from scratch but made to play and look like the old games. A full, proper reboot, as clearest seen with games like Tomb Raider 2013 or Doom 2016. This means everything you know and is established about the world of Pokemon is irrelevant, as every aspect can be redesigned. The story and world, art style, the battle mechanics, and even the Pokemon themselves can be completely reinvented towards a new universe of the franchise. Everything from the previous games is left in the past to create a new era of Pokemon, one that takes everything we've learned and builds it better. I'd like to explore this idea and reboot as many aspects of the main game series as I can. This is going to be a study and practice of game design. It will work to cover a lot of Pokemon's designs and features under this premise. I will go through the broader topics of things like battle mechanics, animation and art style, story and world building, and planning for future games. I'll also be taking a look at specific elements such as the Pokedex, Pokemon Bank, Evolutions, and many more. As a small disclaimer, obviously I have the benefit of hindsight from seeing how those games turned out, and lack insight into the likely very challenging process of how those games were made. This isn't what I think Game Freak should do with the Pokemon franchise, but everything you could do with it. Some of the designs I put forward are only good as thought experiments, not necessarily good to actually put into practice. For some ideas, I want to get into the nitty gritty details, while for others, I'll just be giving outlines and broad concepts, highlighting questions that would need to be addressed by a design team. This is because I don't want to get stuck making 10 videos filling out every part of a concept when an outline makes my point just as effectively and leaves room for your own imagination. As I go through these topics, I try to keep in mind the endless stream of obstacles you would have to be wary of in game development, such as budgets, deadlines, available workforce, and needing to appease the investor overlords. I'll also be recommending videos from other channels that relate to the subject matter, and I'll likely comment on these videos when they come up. I think it's a good idea to see what other people have to say on the matter, especially from people involved in the games industry. Some of those videos might even be longer than my own, rather lengthy videos at times, but they will always be entertaining and worth watching. So, why consider doing it? This could be two questions, actually. Why am I doing this study, and why should Pokemon change? Let's start with, why am I doing this study? Beyond being a game designer and programmer, I also write, play tabletop role-playing games, and, obviously, play video games. Exploring ideas about mechanics design and narrative world-building are some of my favourite pastimes. After so many years of Pokemon being the success that it is, I kinda want to exercise my designer brain on a subject that is truly like no other. Pokemon is a very unique case study for lots of reasons, but mostly because of its success over such a long time with relatively little change to its mechanics. Sure, they may have tweaked and changed things subtly, like additions and adjustments to the type chart, small shifts in art style, and even added entirely new things like beauty competitions. But if you look at how it started to where it is now, you can't say that much has changed in the grand scheme of things. This is not an insult to the franchise in any regard, it's actually a testament to just how fantastic the game mechanics were designed over 20 years ago. For a mechanic system to carry a franchise for so long, it's more than worthy of the utmost respect. And the biggest reason why the mechanics haven't changed much is because each new game needed to allow the player to import Pokemon from the previous generations. You could grab a Game Boy Advance right now, start a new game in Pokemon Ruby, catch a Magikarp, name it Squishy, and then trade it through into Pokemon Shield on the Nintendo Switch. Same name, stats, and moves known. If Game Freak dramatically changed the mechanics from one gen to the next, everything would break. You wouldn't be able to trade and battle with your friends, one of the biggest selling points of the whole franchise. When the games were first designed, they were designed for the Game Boy, a very limited system compared to today. The rules and mechanics decided upon under these limitations persist to this day. 
despite those limitations being left behind many years ago? Is it not time to consider what could be improved and changed since technology and even game design techniques have come so far? The main game series has released a new generation every three to four years. By its 25th birthday, it has eight generations under these designs. After such a long time, maybe it's worth looking back over what they've done and seeing how it could be done differently in the future. Which brings us to... Why should Pokemon change? Well, it probably shouldn't. But that wouldn't make for a very interesting dive into game design, would it? Now, I can see the comments already. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But that is not the point of this study. This is all a practice of what if, and having a look at just a few of the hundreds of possible paths that Game Freak and the Pokemon Company have, and had, available to them. As I delve into all the different topics I want to explore, I'll be giving reasons why anything in particular is worth having a closer look at. I've put all these topics under the banner of Reboot so as to wipe the slate clean, which presents the opportunity to explore brand new ideas and alternatives to all aspects of Pokemon's design. Does any of this catch your interest? Subscribe and hit the bell awesome to know when each episode comes out, and come join me on this journey. Let's have some fun talking about the design of Pokemon.